What's going on guys? Mountaineer Mitch here bringing you a pregame for the Holiday Bowl between the Baylor Bears and the UCLA Bruins. Um, we'll start out with UCLA. Um, started off good all year. At the beginning of the season, beating a bunch of ranked opponents, Nebraska. Um, a lot of good teams that everybody thought was had a chance to contend this year. And uh, UCLA, UCLA knocked them off and... Uh, I mean, it came really out of nowhere to me. I mean, I thought just UCLA uh, just going to be one of them beatdown teams and uh, really surprised me. Um, but uh, there at the end of the season, it seemed like UCLA fell off a little bit and uh, lost those games with Stanford. And, uh, I mean, really, I mean, Jonathan Franklin, you know, just one heck of a running back. Um, it really depends on which team's going to show up in this game. And it's, it's really the same thing about Baylor, too. But I'll get to them in a second. But, I mean, it's really about UCLA showing up and having the time off and seeing what they can do with it. Um, they lost last year in their bowl game uh, in the Kraft Hungers Bowl to uh, Illinois. So that was kind of a, a downer. But uh, just hoping not to, hoping to end the season on a high mark for uh, the senior running back, Franklin, you know. And uh, I think that's what a lot of uh, UCLA players and a lot of UCLA fans want is to be able to uh, win these couple last games for those seniors, or win this last game for those seniors and uh, let them go out with a victory. And, I mean, what what a good career Jonathan Franklin's had at UCLA. But on to Baylor now. I mean, now this Baylor team it's is more flip-floppy than uh, UCLA. And uh, the reason I say that is Baylor can't cover a broadside of a barn until they play somebody like Kansas State. You know, they did such a good job of handling Kansas State and shutting them down. And uh, just, I mean, just, I mean, they beat them. I mean, they just pretty much blew them out. I mean, it was a, it was a big margin of victory. But to somebody like um, the teams in the Big 12 where they passed all over them. And, then, and I mean, it's just going to be like, I mean, Nick Florence and Terrence Williams, one heck of a game. I mean, one heck of players, you know, they're really good. And um, this game is going to be a run versus the pass, and which team is better at stopping which, you know. And um, and I mean, for Baylor, it's going to be the pass, obviously. You know, uh, they're one of the highest ranked uh, offenses in the nation. And I'm not taking anything from she C Shrunk and uh, those running backs for Baylor because they are pretty good. I remember them playing West Virginia, and uh, they ran pretty good against them. But um, they're Nick Florence and them are all about the pass. And uh, it's all about UCLA's cornerbacks and uh, the secondary there being able, seeing that they're able to shut them down. Not shut them down because I don't think anybody could shut down Terrence Williams. He's, in my opinion, he's one of the best. Actually, is one of the best receivers in the nation. He, I think he has the most yardage. Um, so I mean, you just got to be able to slow him down a little bit and uh, hold him three and out. And uh, and uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, UCLA. Should be able to do that. I mean, they they play quarterbacks like Florence with uh, um, Mazzoli or whatever the quarterback's name is for Nebraska. God, I, I can't think tonight. But um, on the other on the other side, you know, it's all about is Baylor going to be able to show up on the defensive side of the ball and be able to do anything against UCLA's offense? I mean, running or passing, you know, and I. Mean, I I mean, it's just going to be, hopefully it's just a good game. And it's, this game might be a game to whoever gets the 71st, you know. And they and Baylor set the highest uh, uh, bowl, uh, highest scoring bowl um, with RG3 last year in their bowl win. But then West Virginia beat that. But, you know, that's a whole other story. Um, but, I mean, they can put up points. I mean, and it's, we'll see. I mean, I hope that this game is going to be a good game. And, but I think UCLA is going to try to slow it down and keep uh, Florence and them off the field and um, try to get some uh, rhythm going in that offense and giving that defensive player some rest because I think they're going to need it with uh, how good uh, Baylor's uh, passing offense is. But I guess we'll see. I mean, that's why I mean, that's why they play the game, you know, and I hope to watch a really good game um, come Thursday at 7 or, yeah, 7-something. No. 
I don't know. I think it's like a nine. I don't know, but I'll definitely be watching, and I'll be doing a post game to this. So I mean, um, anybody who watches this right now, um, just cut back later, and I'll have a post game. And if I'm right, um, let you know, and then break it down for you. And if I'm wrong, I'll let you know that I'm wrong too. I mean, I'm not scared to if I know I'm wrong, I'm wrong, you know. But um, yeah, I mean that's really about it, guys. I mean. Uh, so, uh, you hit the subscribe button, like button. If you don't like it, dislike it. Leave us a comment on what I'm doing wrong. And that's really about it, guys. Uh, Mountain Air Mitch, sign out. Peace.